Have you ever wondered where you belong? And what I've learned is that the sense of belonging that, that we all long for, that we all need, we were created to, to know that we belong, that it has less to do with a physical or geographical location and it has everything to do with finding your people. That place where everybody knows your name and everybody is glad that you came. That can be hard to come by. And see, some of you can relate to that. You still feel like you're not sure quite where you belong. You still feel like you don't quite fit. And what Matthew is telling you is that in Jesus' family, there's a place for you. He's telling that to be part of Jesus' family, you don't have to be anyone other than you. You don't have to have your life figured out. You don't have to look good. You don't even have to be good. You just have to be you because you are the kind of person who matters to him. There's room in his family for you. I have felt like an outsider most of my life. But I'll tell you that so long as I have kept my eyes on Jesus, I have never worried about where I belonged because I know who I belong to. And the longing that we have to belong, it's not found in a place, it's found in a person. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Maybe you're here right now and, and you have felt like me, like an outsider in your own life. Or maybe you look back over your stories, your history, and there's things that you regret, things that you wish you could do over that you could rewrite. Maybe you're not sure where you belong because you're not sure who would ever have you. And I want you to know that right now God is speaking over you, over your story, over your history, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He is the one who makes sense of all of your stories. He is the one who calls you into a new and better future. He is where you belong. It's not a place, it's a person. And by the way, that's who we wanna be as a church. We wanna be a place where people belong and find their belonging. Not because we're so great, but because this is where they can meet Jesus. That he is here with us. And if you have never met Jesus, can I tell you that he wants to meet you? He already knows you. He knows everything about you. He created you. He knows you better than you know yourself. He knows all the things that you don't think anyone knows. And he knows things about you that you don't. And he loves you more than you can possibly imagine. And what we are celebrating in the Christmas season is that the 2,000 years ago, he, he broke into time and space. He broke all the rules of the natural world, of the natural universe, of physics. <laughs> he stepped in so that he could give his life for you, so that you could give your life to him, and you could find the life that you were created to live. You could experience the abundant life that only he has for you. And if you've never met him like that, I want you to know that this morning you can give your life to Jesus. Like this morning, you could make a decision. Say, Jesus, I'm not sure if I really know you, but I know that you gave your life for me, and so I'm taking that first step. I want to meet you. I want to give my life to you. In just a moment, I want to pray for you. But I want you to know that you don't have to have your life figured out. All that matters is that you're you. He made you. You don't have to be good enough. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to impress anyone, not even him. There's a place for you in his family.